<laughs> Let me check the date here. Uh, December 26th, that means Christmas came and went. And look, really it was the 23rd, uh, maybe 24th, 23rd, in my opinion. I didn't think this thing was going to go into Monday if it wasn't really done by probably even Saturday, right? The 23rd, I didn't think that the contract for Jim Harbaugh to sign an extension would happen before this Michigan football season ended. But on the 24th, Ian Rappaport, kind of a blowhard from the NFL Network, put out some news out there. We're going to dive into what it means. I didn't think it was drop everything, do a video on Christmas Eve because I don't think it's anything that you guys would find new or interesting, but I'm going to dissect it. Also talk about Jim Harbaugh replacements towards the end of the video. You'll want to stick around for that, but I am getting sick, Jack. If you notice all the Alabama fans in the comments, a lot of hazers, a lot of shit talkers, uh, we got to stop them out. So everybody's with me. It's game week. MFR, Michigan Football Report, roll call. If you're an MFR, get in the comments, type go blue, because I have just been seeing roll tide. They swarm us, right? They swarm the opponents on the field. Alabama does it on YouTube as well, so we need to match their intensity, you know, go past their intensity here on the Michigan Football Report. We will be live tomorrow, Wednesday, 5.30 p.m. Eastern, 90 to 120 minutes of pure, unadulterated Jack. And uh, James, Young Harbaugh, and me, our last live show before Michigan beats Alabama. So make sure you guys join us and subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash Michigan TV. It's the Michigan Football Report. Let's get this bad boy going right now. Ten years, one hundred twenty-five million dollars. That's the number that Ian Rappaport put out in an article tweet with an NFL Network on Sunday morning, Christmas Eve morning. Now, typically, something like that, I might drop everything, head into the studio, do a video from home. But I just didn't think it was anything new or wildly concerning that we had to kind of like just jump in and dive in. We've been talking about this Harbaugh contract for not just months now, but certainly uh, intensely for the last two or three weeks. So. It didn't really vary that much from what I had said, eight years, 96 million, because in his article, he also said there was a second offer in there that was less years, uh, like 11 million a year. He didn't say the exact years, but I would guess he's probably expecting six or so in that range. So going back to this report, I'm sure you guys saw it. Um, I tweeted some stuff about it on Sunday into Monday. The really only things that were interesting were a clause that Harbaugh can't entertain or accept an NFL job for 2024. I mean, those are the jobs that are coming open Right now, that are going to, you know, we've got a few, three NFL jobs open right now. We're going to have probably five to seven more available in about two weeks from now. Um, that report did include at the end of his article that at least one NFL team is interested. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, I'm, that's not that surprising to me. So I didn't really think anything newsworthy came out of this report, but I'm going to uh, dissect it point by point. But, folks, before I do, I just want to remind everybody that it is now December 26th and Michigan football is ranked number one in the country. This is the show of the number one ranked college football team in America. Plus, Jim Harbaugh's brother, John, has the undisputed best record. They kind of won the regular season uh, national title in the NFL yesterday. They beat the 49ers on the road in California on Christmas Day. A little holiday Harbaugh action beating the number one team. Harb you know, John Jim Harbaugh's going to go in a playoff game atmosphere himself and beat the number one program in all of college football history. In my opinion, that is Alabama a week from now. And, uh, you know, the two hottest assistants in all of football, Mike McDonald, former Michigan offensive defensive coordinator, now, of course, with the Ravens the last two years. He's probably going to get an NFL head coaching job himself. And Sharon Moore, probably the number one candidate for uh, Jim Harbaugh's job should he go to the NFL. You might want to stick around to the end of the show. So the Harbaugh family with Jack there in the middle. It is the football Illuminati. And shout out to our graphics team for making this lovely – beautiful image that I tweeted out <clears throat> earlier today. So football Illuminati, it's just so crazy how, uh, you know, Jack Harbaugh got a job with Joe, Bo Schembecker, you know, 50 years ago or so. And uh, fast forward to 2023, the last week of the year, and his two sons are at the top of college and the NFL. But it is game week, baby. Michigan, Alabama in six days from now. So I still want to make sure everyone didn't think I'm only focusing on Harbaugh contract Harbaugh NFL we still have a game to talk about but the rest of the show is really going to be about the Harbaugh stuff so stick with us for that um the sports book we use bet us here chat sports has this game was a pick em still so if you're an Alabama fan watching and you want to get better odds go to bet us use promo code go blue 20 percent 120 percent deposit bonus etc but for now uh pick em. most sports books will have Michigan as a one and a half point favorite game coming up at five o'clock eastern 
on Monday, on New Year's Day. And I'm so happy this game is falling, falling on New Year's Day because the last two years Michigan has played in the CFP, it's been on New Year's Eve. And I think that stinks. People's focus is not on college football on New Year's Eve. And in tomorrow's live show, I'm going to show you some TV rankings from the 10 years of the college football playoff, kind of New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, CFP semifinal games. It's like an extra 10 million people watch on a New Year's Day. So I don't think uh, the college football playoff really fought, thought this whole thing through. They're always worried about the NFL playoffs, the NFL regular season, Sunday, Saturday, etc. It's just all crap. They should always play these semifinals, at least for now, on New Year's Day. In the future, it's not really going to matter because the NFL college football playoff is going to last like a month starting next year. Later on the show, I'm going to talk about a Jim Harbaugh replacement. If he were to go to the NFL, it is quote-unquote in the works per a source of mine when I sent a couple messages out on Sunday and into Christmas Day on what this contract offer the NFL Network is, uh, you know, reporting what it could mean and really who leaked it, right? Was it Jim Harbaugh leaking it or was it Michigan leaking it to save face with the fan base should he go to the NFL? But you guys need to save face with your bank accounts and you can do that if I get going with prize picks because it's so fun, it's super easy to play and you can up to 25 times your money this week on Prize Picks, because it is game week, I'm going to show you my picks for the Rose Bowl one more time. I've got J.J. McCarthy, more than 16 and a half rushing yards. Jalen Miller, more than 32 and a half rushing yards. Keep it going. I've got a five picker for you. Colson Loveland, more than 36 and a half yards receiving. Blake Corum, less. You guys might say, what, James? What are you talking about? Less than 71 and a half rushing yards for Blake Corum, and less for Jermaine Burton, the best receiver for the Tide, less than 53 and a half yards. I made those five picks, right? Put 25 bucks on it. I left 25 bucks in my account. I'm going to let the last 25 ride on this before I refill my prize picks account. I win myself 10x the money, $250. And you see the, uh, the this little white box right there on the screen. If I only get four correct, I still win twice my money. So 50 bucks back. And if I get three of the five correct, I get 0.4. So I win 10 bucks plus my 25 that I put down. Prize picks are super easy to play. It takes me less than 60 seconds anytime I launch the app where it's Monday Night Football, college football bowl games, NBA games, et cetera, et cetera. You can mix and match sports. And if a player that you pick uh, in one of your prize picks entries goes out with injury in the first half and doesn't come back, boom, prize picks has a reboot policy. It does not hurt your submission. Get a $100 deposit bonus match up to $100 when you use code CLNS at prizepicks.com slash CLNS. That's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. You have to $100 deposit bonus. Get going. Have some fun this bowl season. Have some fun in the NFL playoffs into the NBA. Uh, you won't regret it, I don't think. I've had a ton of fun playing prize picks this football season. Use our code. Use that link and get a $100 up to $100 deposit match with prize picks. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Keep things rolling here. Talking Harbaugh, chatting Jim Harbaugh. This, this report to me. It didn't really move the needle. That's why I didn't spring out of bed, right? This is put out like 8 o'clock Central or something like that. I may have still been sleeping, let somebody else take care of the kids on Christmas uh, Eve. That's how uh, you know, a good family man my, myself uh, does it. It didn't move the needle for me at all because I just think anything coming from the NFL side of things has always turned out to be false, especially from that weasel Ian Rappaport. Remember, this is the guy nine years ago or so, I guess almost yeah, nine years ago, December 30th, December 29th, 2014, he was the one tweeting out that the Raiders are still in play when Jim Harbaugh was already on a plane to in Ann Arbor. NFL guys always think it's going to go their way, etc. And uh, I always, I kind of thought this was a planted uh, news story by either Michigan or by the people that Jim Harbaugh has working for him. So Christmas came and went. Um, I think this 10-year deal for me um, didn't get signed, of course, and we all know that. And Michigan's en route to California. I've been telling this for two weeks. Jim Harbaugh's internal deadline. He wants to focus on this Rose Bowl. He wants to focus on the national championship game when Michigan beats Alabama. He does not want this to be a personal distraction. So he's not going to be having meetings out in California with regents or agents or anything like that or Ward Manual. Michigan goes to the national championship game. It's a seven-day turnaround, right? The first to the eighth. It's a, you know, seven straight days, Monday to Monday. He's not going to be having conversations there um, after the Rose Bowl, before the national title game. So um, I think we got to just take this with a grain of salt. I'll tell you more about what to look out for, a timeline here in a second. But I want you guys to predict the score. Michigan, Alabama. I'm keeping my prediction 24-17 Michigan. Jack, you've had three weeks to think about it. Got to get the people's score prediction. I'm going to go 
21 to 14. Michigan. Michigan. Jack says 21 14. Michigan. Young Harbaugh keeps the faith. Let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments. So, Black Monday, right? If you're not familiar with this term, it is basically the day. It's kind of like Black Friday, but Black Monday in a bad way. Um, because so many coaches lose their jobs. Typically in any NFL season, what, five to eight or nine coaches out of 32 lose their jobs, either leading up into that game like three already have, or that is the day they lose it after the final NFL games, which are going to be January 7th, the day before the national title game. So Chief Harbaugh might, might wake up that morning and see a bunch of jobs uh, come open and have all kinds of speculation. I'm sure the name of that national day, that national championship game, whether it's Michigan, Alabama, or sorry, Michigan, Texas, or Michigan, Washington, I'm sure that they're going to be speculating during the game. Hey, here are the nine jobs that are open. Which one is Jim Harbaugh going to take? I hope it doesn't distract the team. I hope it doesn't distract you, the Michigan football fan, from enjoying this three year run that hopefully continues in 2024 with Jim Harbaugh, the expanded college football playoff, the expanded Big Ten, and hell, maybe even. J.J. McCarthy back for a fourth season. Guys, tomorrow, right, we're going to have some fun. Now, this is the Christmas card, right, that Jack and I uh, are going to send out this week to some lucky fans. I think we have eight or nine of those to send from last week's live show. So it says, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the Michigan Football Report. And right here, Go Blue from James and Jack. So we got nine of those to send out from last week's live show. So if you want one, here's how you get it. Join the show. We'll be live at 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. It's YouTube.com slash Michigan TV. But you already watch it. You're already here. Hit that subscribe button below the video. So tomorrow's giveaway and entertainment, we're going to do these duck races. And if you guys saw last week Wednesday show, we had some fun, right? Uh, we had Santa Claus race, right? We had a reindeer race. What else do we have? Like some skiing race? Snowband race as well. So um, we do a 50-50 raffle, right? So anyone who wants to join the raffle, if you want to kind of pre-join it, make sure you don't miss out anything. You don't have to watch the show to win, of course. Uh, Venmo me $10. It's at James-Yoder-1. We'll do a duck race. First 10 people in the first duck race, win, put in 10, win 50. The other 50 will go to uh, paying for the lights here at the Michigan Football Report. If you want to know what a duck race is, by the way, Wait to the end of the show. We're going to play like a full two, three-minute clip of our duck race on a previous show if you guys want to see how fun, how exciting these things are. So if you want to get pre-entered into the first one for tomorrow's live show, just send me a Venmo of $10. I can make sure you give it a like. If you don't win, remember, if you don't win the 50-50 raffle, at worst, you're going to get a Christmas card from Jack and I, the Michigan Football Report. Christmas card. We took that right after the live show last Wednesday and uh, just uh, made it today. So ready to enter your address and send one off to you. So wait till the end of the show. We'll have a duck race so you know what you're getting into. And maybe just have a little entertainment because they are fun as hell. Ten bucks, get in. And worst case, you're going to get a Christmas card from us. If Jim Harbaugh um, decides to stay with Michigan, right, Let's just say he goes into this offseason, dally and dillies with the NFL again, but decides to return to Michigan, just like the last two years, almost to a carbon copy. This is, um, it's, I don't think it's going to really you know, change his approach long term. I don't think it's going to change how 2024, 2025, 2026 seasons. But for this year, uh, it's really going to be the same as the last two years, right? We're going to be hearing all these NFL rumors when these jobs come available. And then there's all going to be Harbaugh's talking to this team. Harbaugh's going to talk about that team. And at some point, Adam Schefter, somebody's going to either report he's taking a job or he puts out a segment that says, it's a one time thing. I'm coming back to Michigan. I'll never look at the NFL again until next season because it's said that two years in a row. It's really turned out to kind of be a lie, although I'm not going to call Jim Harbaugh himself a liar. Let's take a look at the open NFL jobs right now. Right now, the Las Vegas Raiders, who've been playing pretty decent themselves, right? They, uh, they got shut out like two weeks ago, then dropped a 63-burger. Um, who was that against, Jack? That was against the um, – uh, who they beat that game? It was – oh, the, the Chargers, because the Chargers fired the coach the next day. Right there, right? 63 uh, nothing. I think it was the Chargers on Thursday Night Football a couple weeks ago. And then they play on Christmas Day, and they beat – the Kansas City Chiefs, right? They're available, but they might keep that interim coach, Antonio Pierce. Los Angeles Chargers, right? Keep an eye out for that one. Harbaugh has, he played there for a year. Uh, he lived in San Diego for four or five years when he was the coach down there, et cetera. Um, coached and played there. And then the Carolina Panthers. Now, Harbaugh looked at this job, and, and he had some contact with him last year, I believe it was. But I don't think he's going to look at that job at all. They fired their new coach, what, like 10, 12 games into his first season. Other possible NFL jobs, right? We've identified eight other jobs that Harbaugh could um, be a candidate for. You know about the Bears. But they're playing well, pretty well, too. Right? They've won, I think, two of the last three. 
New York Giants could be an intriguing one for Harbaugh. Washington Commanders, I don't know about that one. Big franchise, big city, but just seems like a dead-end job to me. New England Patriots, right? Would you want to be the guy who follows the guy? Would you want to be the guy if it's time for Bill Belichick to walk away that comes in to try and be the next coach of the Patriots? I don't think so. I don't think I'd want to be that guy, especially if you're Jim Harbaugh. Other possible openings, right? Tennessee Titans have had a good run under Mike Vrabel, but it might be coming to an end for him. Atlanta Falcons, right? They're 7-8. They put out, the owner put out the old, uh, you know, we're confident in our coach a week or so ago, which always means that he's about to be fired. New Orleans Saints. And then how about this one? Talk to our guy, Tom Downey here, Chat Sports, host of the Cowboys Report. He said if they were to lose their last two games, right, they got the Lions coming up and then somebody else after that. Uh, if they were to lose one of the next two games at least and then lose a first-round playoff game, don't be surprised if Mike McCarthy gets fired, even if the Cowboys end the season, what, 11-6, and six, let's say, make the playoffs for a third or fourth straight year. Uh, if Jerry Jones said, decides to say, hey, it's enough for me, that could be a job that Jim Harbaugh looks at, although I'm not sure he'd love Dak Prescott as his type of quarterback. That defense is loaded, and they've got guys like Micah Parsons and Diggs and others locked up for a handful of years. I think that would be the absolute dream job, and I frankly wouldn't even be mad at Harbaugh if he were to take the Cowboys head coaching job. Now, I don't know how many of these jobs are appealing to him, right? Outside of the Cowboys and the Bears, the kind of first and last ones, how many of those jobs are appealing, right? Who's got a big-time quarterback? Chargers, kind of, but it's the Chargers, right? Uh, Cowboys, Bears, because of the hometown thing, I, I don't know what else they have uh, going for them. It's cold there. I don't know if Justin Fields is the guy. They've got maybe the first pick in the draft, so maybe Harbaugh could get the quarterback he wanted. <clears throat> J.J. McCarthy, did you see that mock draft over the weekend, Jack? J.J. McCarthy, number one pick in the mock draft I saw. I'm not sure who put it out, but uh, pretty big stuff there. If Harbaugh wants an NFL job, it's clear that he's going to have one to choose from. Um, that he's going to have uh, a job to pick from. I just don't know if it's going to be the ones that he wants. So this whole, you know, rumors the NFL, it might last another year. It might last another two years. I don't think it's going to end um, because Jim Harbaugh has every opportunity for years and years now to just say, I'm not an NFL coach, but every single year these uh, rumors come up and there's still been no contract signs. By, signed by the you know, internal deadline that he had of December 25th. This isn't going to end. It's going to continue on uh, if he's not the job. So if you're hoping that Harbaugh comes back to Michigan for 2024 and you don't hear these NFL rumors coming back next year, the year after, the year after, I've got some uh, you know beachfront property to sell you in the state of Oklahoma because you're just lying to yourself. But let's focus on this game for a second. Houston or bust. Um, I do think I'm confident. I'm 100% confident that Michigan is going to beat Alabama. Um, I think they've learned a lot of things in the last couple of years. So it's Houston or bust. You got to get this win in the college football playoff semifinal. You can't let any of this NFL stuff, any of these players leaving, coming back, distract you. Get the win. This isn't an all-time Alabama team. And this is, I think, at least the best Michigan football team of all time, at least of the last 20, 25 years or so. How about this story that dropped over the weekend? Kind of blasphemy, if you ask me. Multiple. I mean multiple. LSU media outlets, including the ESPN radio there in Baton Rouge, said, hey, keep an eye out for Michigan. If Jim Harbaugh goes to the NFL, Brian Kelly would jump at that job in a second. Right? He's not a fit for LSU. He doesn't really belong here. He's a northern guy. He spent time all over the Midwest, right, at Notre Dame, at Cincinnati, at uh, Central Michigan, at Grand Valley State. He's a Michigan guy. He's a Midwest guy. I don't really they didn't take it worthy at all. I don't, I don't even know where this came from. I don't think these LSU media outlets have any clue what they're talking about. So I just basically saw it. I said, yeah, okay. Next, next crazy rumor out there. But gets me to this one. I talked to a few sources in and around the program, right? More probably really to Harbaugh than you know, the athletic department side of things, but was told that, this, yeah, I asked basically asked about the Brian Kelly stuff. This coaching search, if Harbaugh were to take an NFL job, won't last very long, okay? It will not last more than a couple of days. Michigan will be ready to name Sharon Moore. He beat Penn State. He beat Ohio State. That was pretty much it. And keeping the cohesiveness of the strength and conditioning staff, maybe, right, maybe Ben Herbert goes to the NFL with Harbaugh, maybe keeping some of the, the coaches around and just the overall winning environment that Michigan has had in the last three years. And look, when Sharon Moore went over to the offensive line, you know, job, and then co-office coordinator, office coordinator. You can point specifically to 2021 when he took over the O-line, changed things up as Michigan's winning culture turned around. So I think it could last for a while. I think to Lincoln Riley, right? He's not doing the great at USC the last year and a half or so, but he was in there. He was a you know, office coordinator, was named next coach at Oklahoma. Ryan Day lost to Michigan three times. Other than that, 
He's been a winning coach, one of the best, you know, percentage-wise in all of college football. He was offensive coordinator, became head coach. Ed Orgeron was a defensive line coach, was named interim coach, then head coach after they fired Les Miles. He won a national title in his about second year, third year at um, at LSU. Um, who else? I mean, even think about Georgia. Their defensive coordinator, their head coach, Kirby Smart. He wasn't there, but he was a defensive coordinator at Alabama for eight years. Then gets that job there. Certainly nobody can argue with the job that Kirby Smart has done at Georgia. So I don't think it would be necessarily a huge drop-off year one, year two, year three. Look at how Stanford kept winning for about six, seven, eight years after Harbaugh left there. It wasn't until like year 9, 10, 11 for David Shaw they started to fall off the path. So I do think Shrum Moore can keep things rolling at Michigan. I think that he's going to be the next head coach if Jim Harbaugh leaves. Now, let me ask you guys this question. Should Shrum Moore get the job immediately, meaning no nationwide search, no talking to other candidates, internal or external? If you think he should get the job immediately if Harbaugh leaves, type yes down in the comments. If you think no... Michigan should other interview other candidates, maybe Jesse Minter, maybe Mike Hart, others internally and externally do a national search. Type no. Let me know what you're thinking. And look, you got to start preparing for possible life after Harbaugh, um, because it's pretty clear, right? He could have he could have came out and refuted all this stuff for months and months and months. He really hasn't outside that one time in October, and a week later, all this kind of stallion stuff happened. So enjoy this run, though. All right? We got six days to Michigan coming up against Alabama. I can't wait. I'm heading out to uh, to California on Thursday. Going to be out there for a week. And then right turn around one week later after that, one week after that, the national championship game. So enjoy this run and enjoy this little run we're going to put on there. We promised it to you a few minutes ago. So here is a duck race. This is actually a race car race. We got about like 30 or 40 people in this one, right? The 50-50s will be like 10 or 12 people max. This is a mega one we did about a month or so ago. Going to roll this and then end the show. Stick around because you will enjoy it. Jack, roll that tape. Going, go! We are off to the races here on the Michigan Football Report. They are getting way out there. John Blaze jumping out into first place. Let's keep another John Blaze. John Blaze has like nine or ten or twenty entries probably at this point. I got Corey Mankins, Chris Joyce up there. John Blaze, the bottom. I see red John Blaze. It's creeping up, creeping up, creeping up. I got Travoris Beckley at the top of the screen with a slight lead. Travoris, Chris, John Blaze. Corey Mankins, three John Blaze at the bottom of the screen. Ashley Lawson creeping on the come up, Ashley creeping on the come up. I see Corey fall back. The Blaze brothers making a play. Travor Speckley, it's John Blaze who says, I'm going to hit the gas, I'm going to hit the brake, I'm going to go back. John Blaze at the bottom of the screen, he's got it. And down the stretch we come. It's John Blaze by a car length. Behind him is also John Blaze and John Blaze. Ashley Lawson from the middle of the back. Ashley the blue, blue Ashley, pink Ashley, Ashley Lawson, Ashley Lawson for the win, Ashley Lawson for the win.